Yes, they arrived the new Google phones, the Nexus 5X and Nexus 6P. And in case you might think, oh, well, just, just the smaller screen, bigger screen, everything the same, because both are now running under the new Android 6 Marshmallow, there are more differences than um, same things on both phones. But let me start with the same things and come to the differences first. But let me explain why. This, this 5X is made, I guess this way you can see better, by LG. And this one, the 6P, is manufactured by Huawei. So that explains some of the differences. But again, let's start with the things that same. This is first of all, of course, the new fingerprint reader or Nexus imprint, like uh, Google is calling this. You can pay with it, it's already working in the Play Store, and of course, have your, um, your phone unlocked. That's going kind of okay quickly, but what really astonished me is that it's a little bit more slowly like on the Huawei Mate S. I thought it's the same base mo model, so it's the same, but on the Mate S it's way quicker. It's just whoop and it's here, and here it's you, you, you remind a little um, delay on that, and sometimes in the, in the test it wasn't that precisely recognized, so it's a little bit slower on this one, but don't mind, it's just... Uh, something that uh, worries me. And here the same, of course, same thing. So is the uh, camera. It's on both, as you can see here, with an infrared um, laser autofocus, meaning very precise, very quickly. But in both cases, you don't have an optical image stabilizer. That's wondering me, especially on the big one, especially on the price here of the 6P, but we come to this later. Photos with 12.2 uh, megapixels, videos in 4K, and you see two um, white LEDs here, and a little difference on the front camera, 5 megapixels, 8 megapixels. But let me go a little bit to the uh, um, camera module over here. Uh, I just wanted to show a quick impression of that. You, that's the same thing you know. I love this photosphere features, you know, these 360 degrees, not on this angle, but on this angle too. So you have a photo ball afterwards. So the um, uh, receiving the message can view itself into and, and have a look like he wants to in this photo bubble. I really love this feature, but this is just by the way. Yeah, coming to the things that are the same. First of all is uh, this cable here, because this is USB Type-C. Has a big advantage, as you know, finally, you can use it in both ways. This way and this way, no problem at all. It now fits every way. Yes, this is USB has should been from the start on, but now finally it comes over here. But this means two things. As you can see here, this cable has type C on both sides, meaning especially the um, charger has type C too. So, if you want to use older charges, maybe uh, that you say, okay, for uh, in the bureau or wherever I use that old one, you will need an adapter. Or in case that you say, I will connect, I want to connect my Nexus phone to the PC or whatever, you need a connector cable or adapter cable. Or for example, USB on the go. So if you want to plug in USB flash memory sticks or something, you need an adapter. So be aware of that in case you want to buy one of these and use one of these, um, what I have said, scenarios, then you will need additional cable. So buy these um, uh, in advance or with the phone so that you can use it from the start in the same way. Yeah, and something else both uh, phones are that's typical for Nexus, unfortunately, you just have one slot, meaning you can insert a SIM but no micro SD card. Having you can expand your memory, all right? So this is very important, especially on the small one here, as here you have two versions of memory with 16 and 32 gigabyte. I wouldn't suggest to pick the 16 because, remind, videos in 4K, photos in 12 megapixels, 5 megapixels, I guess 16 will be a little bit too, too slow uh, or, or too, too, too less. And on the 32 gigabyte version, that's this one I have over here. After I've um, 
uh, updated all pre-installed apps because I can remove them just like that. So I, of course, um, uh, have them actual um, uh, on actual uh, versions. So then is left a net memory here of 23.3 gigabyte. 23.3 gigabyte, that's the value. And I guess you really can need them uh, nowadays if you don't can expand the memory at least. And the big one, it starts with 32, going to 64 and 128 um, gigabytes. So that's not that problem, even if you have the same problem, only SIM and no SD card slot. But with 128, well, this is kind of okay. Prices depend extremely in the countries. Let me go to uh, Germany, Europe. Here we have 649, 699 and 799 euros including tax without any contract. And here for the smaller one, it's starting with 479. So these are not the cheap Nexus phones we now know from times uh, two, three years ago. So this is unfortunately not anymore the case. This is even a little bit more expensive like usual in our market, I have to say, unfortunately. Um, same is, of course, uh, the you have 4G 300 megabits. You have dual cell HSPA, Wi Fi AC, NFC, no problems with that. But now coming to the difference, yeah. First of all, of course, as you see, it's a different uh, display, sure. 5.2 inch, 5.7 inch, but especially for the technology, let me go a little bit closer so that you can see for the sharpness. First, this is AMOLED, meaning the pixels are glowing by themselves, so we have high contrast. This is um, LCD, meaning IPS dual domain, um, light, lighted from below, so you have not these extreme high contrasts. But a good viewing angle like you can see here, for LCD, the best you can get at the moment. And AMOLED, sure, of course, this is like printed. So <laughs> no problem with that. But some people prefer um, LCDs as they say, oh, um, I can read AMOLED displays in the wild and sunlight or something. But let me show something here with this um, uh, virtual sun. I'm trying like this one, okay, here. So which one is now better to read? Um, this is like the question, what's better, um, cholera or pest? So um, I'm sorry for that. I wouldn't lay my buying decision on if it's AMOLED or not. Forget about that, especially in this case as here it's full HD and here we're talking about 1440 by 2560 pixels coming to a density of 423 ppi and here we go 518 this is really great and you see this difference with your own eyes oh let me go even a little bit closer in case you might not see and by the way, this video is shot in full HD, so please switch in the settings to full HD, of course, to see all these differences. Mm -hmm. And don't tell me that you don't see that this is way sharper than this one. I see it, at least here in, in, in nature, with my own eyes. This is, of course, the better display, even if it's AMOLED, or just in case it's as AMOLED, because I love it more, but that depends on your. A decision, of course. Let me go a little bit uh, to the wide again here to see both in, in full. And last thing I wanted to tell you is um, you think both are stereo, but that's not. You have mono here, better said here, this for, for phone calls, mono and stereo on the 6P only, in case you are interested in that. So, and now coming to the differences in the um, CPU. This is even more important for one, uh, especially because this is Snapdragon 808. For example, in the LG G4, meaning you have six cores only. This is Snapdragon 810, eight cores. 1.8 gigahertz up to two gigahertz. Two gigabyte RAM, working memory, three gigabytes. So, and of course, at Reno 418, at Reno 430. So um, just to get a figure what the benchmarks might be is from the LG G4, the same processor, or for example, the Xperia Z5, same processor. Mm -hmm. This is in 12 benchmarks, 
I gather more than 50 single values, computing them to one single final overall score. And here the G4 is 16% above the average and the Z5s are 45% above the average. 16, 45, you see, this is a little bit more powerful, of course, as it's more expensive. But it's, it's not that big a difference as, uh, like you might should think, uh, for example. Yeah, and uh, first of all, uh, or last of all, I'm sorry for that, uh, we will have, of course, a separate video with the new features of Android 6. Um, now it's going for the hardware only in this video, so wait uh, some days, please, for the Android 6 video, but it will come as soon as possible, I promise. And I hope I could help you a little bit with this first impressions of the Google Nexus 5X and 6P. Thanks for watching and take care.